Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface on the live servers for Warlords of Draenor. Now I'm behind Karazhan in Deadwind Pass. Here I am on the map and if you want exact confirmation of where I am, right in front of me is the pet Battlemaster. But it's what's behind me that's of interest. This crypt here. Now if I try and enter it just like any old regular crypt in the game... I can't get in. I'm blocked off by this portcullis, and if I try and right-click onto it, nothing happens. But angle the camera, and you can clearly see that there is stuff inside. Not only that, there's a lot of it. So is there any way to enter this area? Well, the answer is yes. It's another major secret in the world of Warcraft. You need to move yourself behind a crypt to exactly where I am and jump onto a multi-person mount, like a mammoth or the expedition yak. Before it's had time to complete its cast, Alt F4, and that will shut the game down. Now, it's absolutely crucial that you Alt F4 before the cast is completed, and make sure that you're as tight up to the wall as you possibly can be. Your screen's going to look something like this when you log back into the game. Half of your mount is going to be in the wall, the other half protruding out. Just jump forward a couple of times and then inch the mount forward until it drops down a small hole like here. After that, dismount and move your character onto walk and then just inch yourself forward until you fall down into that square. From here, you're going to have to have your next ingredient, which is Noggin Fogger Elixir. And you need to drink this to shrink your character down. Now, this can be purchased in Gadget Stand over in Tanneris. I think it's 20 silver for five. So I've just stocked up to make sure that I've got absolutely plenty of it. It might take a little while for the buff to take effect, but when it does, you need to move yourself a little bit farther forward as well. But you're kind of going to the right of the ledge in front of you. So you're literally taking a leap of faith, like in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and walking onto thin air. And you need to move yourself just to the end of the second big breeze block. And if you angle the camera, you can actually see inside. Now, this grey area in front of us is where we need to jump down. And this is where the big thing comes in. First of all, get rid of the noggin fogger now, and you need to make yourself large. And secondly, you need to have some sort of rocket boost propellant forward. So this character is an engineer. Click onto that, and then run through the hole. And you will actually land in the crypt itself. Also, make sure that you've put your character back on to run so you get as much momentum forward as you possibly can. Otherwise, you might literally just fall off the edge and have to repeat the whole process over again. So it's time to explore, and I've got to say, what's to come is absolutely unbelievable. First up, though, we have Well of the Forgotten, and it's easy to see why. If I make my way over to my left, you notice this hole in the floor which could have been missed. Angle my camera to see what's down below, and it simply goes into the dark abyss. We'll get back to that a little bit later on. So I'm making my way down Pauper's Walk, and you can see why it's got this title. Look to the left and right of the walls, and you'll notice that they have holes in them with skeletons and bones jutting out. But it looks like people that didn't have the financial means to construct these little mausoleums in front of me had rather a cheap burial. They were literally, their bodies rammed into these holes and left to rot. Not a very nice way to go. But these mausoleums have a much bigger size. Some of them have doors, some of them don't, some of them have gates, but they all have a very similar structure to them. A gravestone on the floor, or a grave slab really, on the floor, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else inside of it. But if I scrolled over the door, you notice they had weird names, like Do Da Wrought Iron Door 03. So this was a work in progress which was clearly never finished. Why? Who knows? Maybe it was actually too sinister for the game, because 
it is so dark what's here in the crypts of Karazhan. Or maybe it just didn't quite fit the bill of what they wanted to do. Now we entered from the right hand side. We're exiting on the left. If I was to go up that passageway to the left. That would have actually join us to Pauper's Walk that we saw earlier. When I looked to the right hand side and that pathway. But we want to go deeper down into the crypt. So let's take the right hand passage. More Pauper's Graves on the left and the right in the walls. But... I'd rather have one of those, I think, than this, because this just looks like a mass burial ground. All these mounds here, they just looks like they're absolutely chock full of dead bodies. And you'll notice as well that there are some bones littered around the top, which have haven't or they've fallen away from where they've been covered up in the past. But let's be honest here, it doesn't look like there was much effort made. Then we have something called Tome of the Unrepentant. I don't know if that's actually a typo, and it should be Tomb of the Unrepentant. A tome, of course, is a large book, so I don't know if it quite makes sense, but never mind. Inside, there's a bunch of stone sarcophaguses and what I can only describe as stone tombstones. And if you just notice down to the left there, there's at least two further levels to the Karazhan crypt, giving it an absolutely massive scale. So it just seems really bizarre that this, this huge, huge area, which for the most part seems absolutely complete, with just a few little tweaks on the names of the doors and the portcullises, etc., is not being utilised whatsoever. But now we get to the really sinister stuff. The upside-down sinners. Possibly the scariest place in the world of Warcraft. People have been hung here and just left to drown. It must have been an absolutely horrifically gruesome death. And one that I wouldn't even wish on my worst enemy on his worst day ever. But yeah, it's one of those kind of areas which does send a shiver down your spine. And that's massive kudos to Blizzard there. Because just to get that reaction from an area is something ridiculously unreal. To get this emotional response. And then through here, the Slough of Despair. I'm from England and we have a place called Slough and trust me. I'd be in despair if I was there. But it looks like... <laughs> I'm only joking. It just looks like a huge pit which has been dug, ready to throw corpses in and maybe be filled in at a later date. But let's go back to the Upside Down Sinners and let's swim downwards because you'll notice there's also an exit down there at the bottom. And if you've still got your Noggin Fogger on, then if you have the skeleton effect, it makes you undead so you can breathe underwater. So if you're a class that doesn't have uh, underwater breath or you don't want to risk uh, kind of going underwater for too long, then that would be the way to do it. But a little swim and then we're going to come out at another area. Literally because this place is just so massive. So let's move to the left hand side first of all. And again we're going to be greeted by another massively disturbing sight. Look at that. Just the crypt, uh, the pit of criminals in the crypt. This humongous pile of dead bodies. Just bones. There literally must be... Thousands upon thousands of dead here. And they've just piled up, piled up, and piled up and decomposed. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if some people have left to the toilet by now. And then if we go here, we go to the tomb or the tome of the unrepentant again. This room here is quite cool because it layers down. So we'll go down there in a moment. But when we go through the doorway, look, it's just this weird size room and what's above it is is you know the sand or the mud or whatever you want to call it so it just looks like it's fallen through due to the weight of dead bodies again another absolutely horrendously gruesome discovery so if you go down the steps and go round instead of jumping down to the the final area of the place we kind of get an understanding of well first of all the amount of work which has gone into here by blizzard is is brilliant 
this this area needs to be utilized. Blizzard need to open it up. Even if they just open up the portcullis for people to go and explore. And then just give the doors and the portcullises proper names. But let people explore here. Let people come in here and RP. Let people see this magnificent place. Because this is exactly what it is. Some unbelievable artwork that has this, un this, this untold story. Which even in our own minds when we start to concoct it. I don't think we could begin to imagine the horrors that happened here. So I couldn't close out this video without returning back to the start and the well of the forgotten and throw myself down because we need to see where it leads. And people that have been paying attention might have an idea where it does. So, Jig Bonimo! Splat! Yeah, it actually lands in the pit of criminals. They literally just threw them down this hole, which actually they did do in medieval times, and then just left them to rot here on the pile of bones. So Blizzard, I've got an appeal for you here. This area is beautiful, disturbing, sinister, amazing, and people love things like this. They love exploration, and they love secrets. Don't block it off from the rest of the game. Open up the gates to Karazhan. I implore you, and let people have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description down below, and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.